Hello, sir. Uh, I would like to uh, hand over a book to the governor and uh, some powers for for you, you guys who are um, having a political prisoner in this um, in this prison. Hello, can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, the other building, what do you mean? What is that? I didn't understand, so, so, sorry. Right, yeah. Is it the visitor center? So is it the visitor? Oh, it's the, the just beside the wall, the where the fences is. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar here. So, would you please uh, give me advice? Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. There is another building behind the visitor center. All right. It's the fence wall. It's called the reeds. The reeds. You go there and do the delivery there. All right. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. This building over there, I guess, is the reeds, they call it. This is where uh, one could hand over some stuff. I actually don't know if he uh, got it, but it's for the governor, not for the prisoners. Can we hand in a book? The special repertoire on torture who gave up his post uh, because he couldn't reach anything in this, in this case. Uh, he wrote a book on the whole uh, issues, uh, the whole accusations, the um, failure of, of uh, the judicial system in Great Britain and Sweden. And so um, this is the book I wanted to give to the governor and to the prison's library so everybody could read the uh, information which is official and how the fa system fails and failed for many years. And you just walked across Europe to hand this book to them, right? Right, so this was a political act to um, regain the public's uh, voice to um, keep their journalists in the society instead of a prison and rather um, accuse the war criminals and corruption, corrupt politics, uh, politicians, sorry, um, to accuse them that they shall, should be trialed and, uh, instead of the journalist who is uh, sitting without charges in a maximum security prison right over here. And his name is? His name is Julian Assange. It's uh, one of the greatest symbols for the free press. Like to, uh, give the governor a book for, oh. for the governor and for the I'm sorry, library. this is just for visitors. They said over there. Excuse me, where is Ritz? Where is Ritz? The Ritz building. Thank you. I don't want to hear the truth. What's it written in the book? Oh well. We can try at the reeds, which uh, the guard said. Thank you, Julian! Thank you! So, what a walk. Wow. A 10 weeks walk worth of uh, sweat and uh, some struggle. Even my, my son came because he understood 
as I explained him. This is crucial for, for our society, for me and for him. What uh, Julian Assange did is to reveal all those crimes we paid for. And uh, now we are here to, to fight, um, to fight, you know, not in a uh, rough manner, but with words and our presence. This, this fight has been going on for ages and this man who represents a, uh, a whole era of journalism which should be free and now we really see how this system works, how uh, media is corrupted, that they not even fail to inform the public but betray Julian Assange, taking all those informations, handing it out to public and then betraying the messenger, um, not reporting. They do report once a year or once a half year. And this is the point. This is a huge case for everybody, or each of one of us in the so-called Western societies, but also in the whole world. This is a sign of a free speech, of free uh, journalism and a society which demands um, the information which is which the society is paying for so we demand or at least i would really like the governor to take this book and also the um, the guards to take one copy of this book of niels Meltzer's book the trial of julian assange where um, he describes all the failures of our system. To take the, the, the guards, a copy for the governor and for, for the library inside the prison, but they would, would not allow it um, and would send us all over the place just to play games with us. And this is what is already happening for decades and ages. The powerful play games with us and sending just normal people, working class people, to do their uh, dirty work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Julian, if you can hear us, thank you, Julian Assange. Thank you for doing this work. Thank you, Julian Assange. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Julian. Thank you. It stands there, no, we have been there from uh, 2 o'clock to no, 16, so from 14 to 16 o'clock, it will be off. No extradition. Well, actually, no extradition. Monday to Friday. Well, I see. Um, so, I really would like to hand over some flowers and two books of uh, Niels Meltzer, The Trial of Julian Assange. One copy is for your governor and one is for the um, library, to the prison's library. May I hand this over so you can pass them on? Why would it be possible all deliveries have to go to the Ritzel and uh, not open till Monday now? Alright. So there's no possibility I could uh, hand over you the books. I just walked 900 miles. I just arrived in Belmarsh. Would you maybe consider this a, as a possibility to that I uh, am a German citizen who walked just 900 miles to hand it over you um, these books for the library in the prison and for the governor and some flowers? Yeah, no, that won't be possible. We're not allowed to take them. You're not allowed to take them. That's quite unfortunate.
Thank you for your time, sir. If you might, please uh, greet Julian Assange from the people of Germany, uh, Netherlands, Belgium, France, and the UK. Would you do this, please, sir? So I walked from Germany and um, walked the whole way here to several countries and there are greetings from Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, France and UK. Those citizens sent their greetings to Julian Assange. Would you please uh, make it possible that he will hear this message? Please. I don't get to see him, but if I do, I will tell him. I thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.